Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You know the drill. If you like the content, hit that subscribe button and leave a like down below. Uh, in this video, we're going to show off all the hats for the men. Let's get into it. I feel like they added a few new hats this year. Like, you know, that or this looked so much better. Like that one, I don't remember. They've had the Santa one. Oops. Like, the sections that they add stuff in is always confusing to me. Like, I think they added a few new hairstyles, but not, but not a lot. You'd think they'd add more hairstyles, but, I mean, holy crap, we have a ton of hairstyles. If you can't find a hairstyle you like in there, then... You're just too picky, in my opinion. <laughs> like, some categories desperately need extra stuff, and some have way too many things. Like, it'd be really cool if you could, like, a, like totally manipulate the hair and like, basically make up your own hair design, but that would take up a lot of data on the disc, or should I say, for the game? I mean, you download everything is downloaded anyway, so I don't know. Probably the the uh, what do you call that? The game's engine can only handle so much. I know 2K, not 2K. Ux was running into that issue. That's why they always take out a ton of stuff every year. I mean, there's a, there is so much stuff to do in these games. I don't know why they think they have to release one every year. Clearly, the only reason to do it would be to get money and keep WWE happy, you know? Keep the shareholders happy. We don't need one every year. There's too much crap to do in these games to release one every year. Like, I was playing the last one all the way up till this one came out. I'd still be playing it if this didn't come out, because I made all my characters. All I had to do was fix the universe mode, and I would have played that thing for the next five years. But I get it. The mass majority, they play showcase mode, they play the story mode, like my rise modes, and then they probably don't touch it again. Like, that's probably it. They probably just play through that, and then they're done. And then those of us that like to make our own un little universe modes and play through that endlessly, or go get your buddies in my GM. Like, my GM got a massive upgrade this year. So I feel like this one... If they, you know, they fix, tweak a few things, they could wait two years until they make another one. But you know they're going to make another one next year. I'm just curious, what are they going to do? Are they going to put back a bunch of parts they took out? Or are they going to take out more stuff to make it look even better? Will it release on old gen? Like, is it going to still release on the PS4? Because there's such a huge install base there. Will, will the Switch 2 be out by then, next year, right? I'm curious if we'll ever get a WWE mainline 2K game on a Nintendo platform ever again. Because of what happened with, what was that, 2K18? They released it broken and then never fixed it. They could go back to the old days where they'd make a separate gaming franchise for the Switch. If Ukes didn't leave... The company, they could have had Ukes be that company, just exclusively make Nintendo wrestling games. You know, that would have been awesome. And then they could have teamed up with ex Aki devs, and then we could go from there every year. Because, you know, the hardware is so vastly, uh, uh, what do you call it, underpowered compared to modern. What the hell is that? Two hats? That's funny. That was somebody's gimmick. I can't remember who, but that, yeah. Was that the Bushwhackers? I think that was the Bushwhackers. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think, I'm pretty sure that was Bushwhackers. Those guys were hilarious. Hulk still rules. A cool little feature that... Oh, wow. They made that look a lot better. I'm pretty sure that was in the last one. That looks so much better. Anyway, um, a cool little feature they could add... Is if there's any gear with, like, the character's pattern on it, right? So, for instance, this. Who is that? Macho Man? No. I can't tell who that is. Oh, Kofi. Okay, Kofi Kingston. Let's say you find a cool part you like, but their logo and stuff's all over it. It should have a little tab in there 
it says use their logo or remove their logo, right? That way you can take their parts and make it your own. I know that would be a programming nightmare, but it would be a nice little touch to add. A little checkbox. Because uh, Dana Brooks' outfit, right, her top and bottom, her top, you can't change the color of the, uh, what is that, the emeralds or whatever, the little diamond things all over her, her bust area. Um, th when you try to change the color, it just goes to a totally opposite color that you want it to be. So it kind of sucks that some st some stuff you can't use like that, you know? That's cool. Oh, yeah, remember the, uh, what, what is that, Met Metadors? That's such a stupid gimmick. <laughs> I'm surprised the Viking Raiders are still a thing. I love those guys. They're freaking awesome. But they don't do gimmicks like that anymore. It's like something out of the 80s. And I, and I love seeing that kind of stuff because they don't do it anymore. Everybody's so cookie cutter, athlete this, athlete that. It's kind of boring now. So it's really cool when you see someone or a group go old school and try to be like a like a you know true gimmick, old school gimmick. That's cool. And they don't make them. I mean, they jobbed a lot, but they make them like very difficult to beat. The Viking Raiders, like they had Drew and Sheamus feud with them for a few weeks. And uh, I think they finally beat Drew and Sheamus, but every time they wrestled, it went back and forth quite a bit. It wasn't like a, what do you call that, a squash match. Man, there's a lot of these. And cool, you can make three amigos. <laughs> nice. The graduation thing. Cool. Well, that's all the hats. As always, thanks for watching and stay frosty.